Hello, 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 and good morning, my fix it friends. I am about to run some quick errands and things, but I wanted to show you this because I went back to um, some of my favorite lows and grabbed some of these African violets. So this is one that I was trying to identify on the Optimara site. I know that in particular that white top and um, coloration at the bottom with the pink and it should help me to ID it and it has the antlers there for the pollination um, this other little pink one I just thought it was cute with the frilly edges that's what really caught my eye on all of these now this one here it's on a little bit of a struggle bus but I still got it because what I want to do is put some in Monica's room and you'll see my work table here is a mess but I liked this Allen and Roth planter um, I got it because the, it came with this little tray and I feel like if I want to experiment again if you've seen my plants on this channel you know I do some experimentation but I wanted to try to see how they would fare with using this tray to do some bottom watering so I'm gonna get these repotted gonna give them some love going to of course mix in to the water some of the um, fertilizer that I use for my African violets and see how these do in the coming weeks so I just wanted to show y'all this initial video of it and let me grab the fertilizer that I use for my violets so this is the African violet plus that I use but again I think it says yeah the um Recommended amount is seven drops per quart of water and when I use this for every feeding uh, I only do three drops in a quarter like three and a half ish um, I eyeball it guesstimated. I'm okay with that But I use that and use it to water my violets. I'll show you some of the other ones going on in the kitchen So this is a violet that I got from probably Lowe's whenever they started appearing again Just looking to make sure there's no aphids or anything on it. I've seen some aphids appear in some of my arrow gardens, so I'm trying to be careful. Oh no, what you see there, it almost looks like something shimmery, is the actual shimmer of the flower. It's wild. Um, but this one has been getting watered with the African Violet drops that I showed you from, I believe it's Schultz brand. And peek over at the arrow gardens I do need to do some pruning but I have some petunias that have come up and my curly parsley that I'm so proud of and back in the back is my mini African violet that's starting to bloom for me again with those white flowers that are so pretty and then I have this other violet that actually this is the first time I'm seeing these blooms they're starting to open up when I got this one it did not have any flowers at all pretty 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 and here's one of the long-awaited blooms that I had to open on the African violets that I've had since 2018. This has some suckers coming up for sure. I think I shared that with y'all before that I was curious as to whether or not those were suckers coming up. Definitely are, but pretty purple flowers. Um, and the other one that had bloomed a lighter purple before, I wasn't necessarily fertilizing it as much as I am now. It's darker like this too, so I think that's the true color, but if they're not getting, you know, depending on the nutrients, the watering, your coloration on your violets can and will change. So it's so always important to remember that. And that's another part of the hobby that's fun is that you kind of never know what to expect. So it's always a surprise when you get to see how the blooms come out the next time. And over here on the arrow garden since we're here got a lot of tomatoes coming in down here I need to do some pruning on this so I'll get my little pruning scissors and get to work Yeah, I definitely need to do some pruning, but I did see I had some flowers somewhere around here the other day But I came and did some pollination with my little bee. Oh, that's the old ones I, know I just saw some new blooms. Where were they? We have already gotten overgrown. Oh, here they are in the back there. Yeah, I pollinated those the other day. And this definitely came up overnight. Tomato plants tend to grow so quickly, so you have to stay on top of them. Oh, and then I have an African violet down here that's hiding. They're probably not getting enough sun, but at least it's happy enough to be trying to set some new blooms or buds there. Yeah, and then these pepper plants that I am still going to be moving outside. So this garden is slightly overcrowded tomato and pepper wise. But that's all this right here is only one tomato plant. So the holes next to it are empty. I set this little African violet there to let it wick up some water. So the only other thing in there is the tomato plant and then these two pepper plants. 
and then this really sad golden harvest tomato that I definitely will be moving outside and just seeing how it does so that's what's going on over here and then I have these other African violets that I got when I went back those blue ones that I showed y'all are blue and white ones that I showed y'all in the video I ended up going back <laughs> when I went to get these other pink ones and getting this um, one with the purple with the white frilly edges because it was still there even though the one that I saw in that previous video and I'll put um, the picture in if I remember to do it. Sorry y'all, I know I promise that and sometimes I just forget because I'm human. Um, to show y'all the photo of the one that I thought that I was going to do or get or backtrack. The one that I saw that had the variegated leaf and I looked at it and I said, is it variegated? Yes, no, yes, no. I went on the Optimara site and indeed that was one of the 2019, I think it was um, Charity was the name of it. So then I really wanted to go back and get it because right now on Optimara they're charging like $16 for it or maybe $13 reduced. And it lows, it's definitely a $4 plant. But they did say that, like, on that one, there was variegation on the outer leaf. They said that if it has reduced light, that the variegation will go away and you'll get these dark leaves again. And they can't confirm that the variegation will come back under increased lighting because they have yet to monitor those type of conditional changes. So, part of me was even more intrigued because I was like, oh, challenge. Um, but yeah, when I went back, it was gone. There were only like two or three left on the shelf. So this one happened to still be there because I think whenever I didn't get it, the person who was helping me out just kind of put it back in the garden section. So it happened to just catch my eye when I was leaving the section. Over here is another little, just frilly pink one that I thought was super cute. And I'm gonna grab this one. This is another blue one, but I have a pot that I showed in another video that hasn't been posted yet or may get posted before this maybe not just depending on life and life's terms but this one I got because I thought it was super cute um and I wanted to kind of bookend it but now I'm thinking about putting it now this pot still needs to be clean but I cleaned the base already and if you see the other video this will make sense but this is a pot that was outside so I brought it in cleaned it off and still getting the debris out of this one um so that I could use it to wick up because this is a un like laminated ceramic so basically this top part you can see has been painted but the bottom part is still that raw ceramic so it's supposed to be able to wick up water and it's a really cute little coffee cup planter so I figured I'd try but that's what we got as far as African violets so I'm gonna finish repotting these and clean off this kitchen table once again it always becomes my workstation and that makes a mess but Thankfully, my husband's patient with me, but that's what we got going on. So, as always, this is Fix It With Fram, where I talk about all things faith, family, food, and fun. Just want to remind you that God has given us all unique gifts and talents that can fix some problem that exists in the world. And while we may not be able to fix everything, I truly do believe that we can all fix something. So, till next time, I pray that you would find that thing and fix it. Take care, y'all.